which superhero flies through the air, wearing nothing but a cape and underpants, singing tra la la That's right, Captain Underpants. The Adventures of Captain Underpants was written and illustrated by Dave Pilkey and published by Scholastic. It is about two primary school boys, George and Harold, and their horrible principal, Mr. Krupp. Every day, George and Harold draw comics about Captain Underpants and sell them in the playground. Mr. Krupp hates George and Harold, and he especially hates their Captain Underpants comics. One day, the boys meet the real Captain Underpants, and soon they are helping him to save the world from Dr. Diaper. The Adventures of Captain Underpants is a graphic novel, which means the pictures and words work together to tell the story. It even has flipper armor pages, where you use two pages to make an animation and add your own sound effects. The story is silly and exciting, and sometimes it seems like it was actually written and illustrated by George and Harold. This is similar to the 13-story treehouse, where the characters are writing their own book. Actually, we don't know whether Captain Underpants is real, or we are just reading one of the boys' comics, but that's part of the fun. I enjoyed this book a lot. It is silly, exciting, and quite funny too. It is full of toilet humour, which some people wouldn't like, but it made me laugh. It's quite easy to read, and very easy to follow the story. The characters are very simple. Captain Underpants is good, Dr. Diaper is bad, Mr. Krupp is horrible, the boys are naughty. Some people might not like this and would prefer a book where the characters think and change and develop, like Diary of a Wimpy Kid. If Captain Underpants is about anything, I would say it's about creativity and how creative people can do amazing things. It is a fun book and there are lots of others in the series to read afterwards. Here are my ratings. Chapter 4 Mean Old Mr. Krupp Do you see that old guy looking out of the window up there? That's Mr. Krupp, the principal. Now, Mr. Krupp was the meanest, sourest old principal in the whole history of Jerome Horwitz Elementary School. He hated laughter and singing. He hated the sounds of children playing at recess. In fact, he hated children altogether. And guess which two children Mr. Krupp hated most of all? If you guess George and Harold, you're right. Mr. Krupp hated George and Harold. He hated their pranks and their wisecracks. He hated their silly attitudes and their constant giggling. And he especially hated those awful Captain Underpants comic books. I'm gonna get those boys one day, Mr. Krupp vowed. One day very, very soon.